you know what? Was... When you first said that, I was like, oh no, what's she going to ask? <laughs> that might be the worst thing you can ask. <laughs> <laughs> Hi there, it's Sarah Champion backstage at the Isle of Wight Festival in George Edwards' dressing room. How are you, sir? Yeah, does it live up to any expectations? Were um, there any expectations? I was having a little look around, see yeah. what was on your rider. There's, there's a bottle boring. of booze in the corner. Yeah. There's a lot of water, which is needed yeah. today. Um, but great to have you back on the island. Thank you for having me to talk to me now. Well, last we've, only time... been on the, we've only been on site for about an hour. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Okay, and how did you get here? Was it Chopper, we... Tom no. Jones style? <laughs> no. You know, someone, I was in the pub the other day and someone I never... I'd met them at the pub and they were like I'm throwing a party so I was like oh okay they said you, you should come and I said <laughs> sure. when is it and they said oh it's, I said oh unfortunately I'm going to be at the Isle of Wight right he said we'll arrange a helicopter for you I said I don't know how good this party is that you're throwing but we're not doing it oh. no no we're not so you came over on the ferry we came over on the ferry <laughs> yeah, we came, yeah all that to say we came over on the ferry last night we stayed in a hotel down the road I went down to the little beach near nice. there today went for a little stroll got onto site um and we were saying different festivals you know because the things that change ha- are more often the things out front you know that the, the, you might get a new stage or the layout might be different but the backstages are often the same like you always get always the same and some of them come right back to you and this has just always been the, the same <laughs> it doesn't matter where you no, are on the film no, no, you can be first or headlining yeah. it's still the same <laughs> and that's not, that's not a negative thing at all it's nice yeah. well last time you were here at the Isle of Wight festival mm. uh, you had your leg up in the air yeah and you know what I did then for the rest of the summer so oh, it no. was the day before we performed I went for a run and rolled my ankle mm-hmm. and it went you know, we was like, oh, I twisted my ankle. Like, it went the size of a... Yeah, it was huge. Yeah. Because <laughs> you did the set on, the, on a stool. Yeah. Yeah. I then did for the rest of the summer because oh, it was right. just very weak. It felt like any little bit was like, ah, so... But it was fine. It was good fun. Yeah, um, no, it was brilliant. I mean, yeah. don't get me wrong, but it's just nice to see you in full health. Thank you. <laughs> with no bandages yeah. that I can <laughs> see yeah. that are visible. Um, you're pretty good at marking anniversaries on your social media. I couldn't help mm. noticing. So, for instance, um, there'll be a post saying five years since Shotgun was released, mm. or I think this this week, one year since Gold Rush Kid. Mm-hmm. Um, nine years since you walked into the radio studio uh, where I was to tell me that Wanted a Voyage had just gone to number one. Yeah. Um, Fair amount has happened in that nine years for you, George. <laughs> a lot Fair has amount. happened, yeah. Well, what have been the biggest kind of pinch me as it's actually happening moments? I think that it's an easy question to answer because they are the standout moments and there'll be festival performances. There'll yeah. be your own. I remember really clearly the first time playing at a festival and people singing Budapest along. You right. know, things like that. You can't put a price on them and you can't then recreate them. That can only be the first time that happens. And, you know, everything that happens between now and then is exciting for different reasons. But it's the, that first record, I think, they're the things that stand out. Yeah, the firsts. Yeah, the firsts. Of, uh, and the first keep coming as well, because although it may be the first time you play at the Isle of Wight Festival, for instance, it might be the first time you play on a particular stage. And then the next time you're back, it's the first time that you play on a different stage. And, right. And... Yeah, but they, they keep rolling in. It's good. I mean, what is that like to stand on the main stage as you will be this evening and have mm. 60,000 people singing your lyrics back at you? It's surreal. You know how you'll hear, I'm sure someone will have said to you before in an interview, it's, it's when they know somebody in the audience, that's when they're most nervous. So Always. It's like, yeah. Yes. So uh, you can, it's almost the opposite. The, the size of these festival audiences on the main stages, they're so so vast mm. it's hard to get your head around they actually become less nerve-wracking because you're i don't know and also as someone that grew up going to festivals you're aware that people don't get me wrong they're there to enjoy the music but it's also people are kind of like floating through we might stop here for five or ten minutes we might go around there it's a bit less stress there's people always someone just passed out by the bins yeah. as well so yeah. there's that <laughs> Yeah. Um, bit of an extra treat for George Edwards fans this weekend. Not only are you co-headlining in the main stage this evening, you are big top tomorrow morning. Are you aware of this? No, go on. Tell me, should I be aware of this? Uh, I think, well, maybe. Um, there's a special screening of your documentary. Oh, I did know this because someone did. asked me what the um, 
like the audio spec was and i was like like as in so and i was like i'm really sorry i have no idea um that's a lovely thing for the sunday crowd sunday morning crowd to just you know kick back and watch that yeah there's a few opportunities this summer where we'll be playing the film at festivals it's a bit of a stroke of genius to even be invited to do that because it is again going back to going to festivals you do want those breakout moments of like cool i need to just disappear it's a nice watch, I can say that. It really like it is. I mean, yeah. for the uninitiated, by the way, it's uh, Land's End, John O'Groats, you and two of your best mates just having an, a hilarity in shoes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. We, yeah, we walked from Land's End to John O'Groats and we meet, meet, meet musicians as we go and uh, it's unbelievable. Yeah, it's a lovely thing. Yeah. Um, how are you feeling about co-headlining the Isle of Wight Festival? This week? I mean, at this point, does the, is it kind of equal nerves and excitement? Um, equal excitement and terrifying honestly right now it's very calm i won't really be aware of what's about to happen until about an hour before okay. the set i'm kind of like blissfully unaware and then something kicks in oh yeah and I'm then, sure there's something i had to do or no it's not so much that it'll <laughs> kick in like the actual being able to comprehend what that looks like and it's like right. oh, okay yeah there's a job at hand mm-hmm. um it feels very calm in here it feels very i mean do you have a kind of pre-ritual meditation moment where you just kind of no. Zone, get in the zone. No, we've been floating around today. <laughs> it's had a lovely like to, time. Yeah, it's, genuinely, it's just been. I wish I could tell you something more exciting. <laughs> we, uh, we don't really do I much. Mean, there is a bottle of what looks like Jameson's in the corner, so you know, it's pretending it's not yeah. rock and roll, yeah. but there'll be yeah. that telly thrown out the window in no time. You wait. Um, finally, I can't let you go, George, without um, re asking a question that I did ask you nine years ago and that you wouldn't answer, and I asked it twice. You're very coy about mm. the answer. Your band that you were in at school, mm. you wouldn't give me the name of the band. Yeah. Are you still not? No, absolutely not. <laughs> no, I don't why? know why on earth I would. <laughs> why? Oh, because I've seen it. Right? Like, uh, you, this is That's really... what you're worried about, that someone's going to find it on YouTube. Of course. <laughs> like, it's, I'm not even worried about it. I'm sure people will or have. I just don't need to be spending my time, my opportunity talking to you, talking about that. <laughs> Do you know what? When you first said that, I was like, oh no, what's she going to (laughs) ask? That might be the worst thing you can ask. (laughs) Well, on that bombshell. (laughs) Thank you so much for taking the time to speak to us. Have a great set. Thank you.